You know, one of the things I'd like to talk about is the versatility of the musicians in the group. Not only did the guys play horns and perform, but they all did little thing, extra things. Uh, one of my major contributions was in the building of props or visual gags. And uh, this is one of those props. Now, this is a string bass that we devised that Roger Donnelly would play, playing very furiously up and down. And then suddenly we hear a, a knock on the bass, and you look around and swing the bass around. Hey, what goes on? Come on, you that's another thing I thought of as a gag. I would walk out holding a bass clarinet, and I blow this big bubble. I had this plastic tube I put through the bass clarinet from the mouthpiece down to the bell. And in the bell, I attached a balloon. And I would puncture the balloon, and it would break, and then I would fall over backwards. Here's Joe Colvin playing the trombone. I had a string going from the trombone to his pants, and I had uh, lead weights in the cuffs of his pants, and as he pulled the trombone slide, it, the pants would lift up, and the weight would carry him down. <laughs> then later on, I had one with the other pants from the waistline going up and down. Everything visual. This is when Johnny Ray was very popular. Johnny Ray was singing these crying songs. My heart cries. So I worked out these glasses made of copper tubing. And uh, I drilled holes in the copper tubing and ran tubes under his armpits with the hot water bottles. So when he was singing, he pressed the hot water bottles, water would squirt out. For the final gag, he would try it and nothing would happen. I'm all out of water. With someone sharing a delightful chat of this and that and cocktails for two as we enjoy a cigarette <coughs> to some exquisite chansonette. Two hands are sure to slyly meet beneath the serviette with cocktails for two. <laughs> <laughs> 